Hey, you guys. When I first got this knife in the other day, the, uh, I wanted to do a video, but, <coughs> excuse me, did it outside and wasn't quite sure how it came out and didn't really like it. By the way, that's not the box. That's the box. Because it's the fossil. This one's made by, um, oh, what's the guy's name? Flavio Acoma. It's got the Tom Best serrations. This model number is 5471K. K meaning, I guess, because it has the serrations on it. But it's very nice. The coating is a titanium. Also has a titanium coating on the handle. Handle stainless steel, and the scale, I guess you'd call it, is a G10. But blade um, overall is 8.8 .8 inches. Uh, I'm sorry, that was the overall length, 8.8 .8 inches. The blade length is 3.96. Now the steel on it is a 8CR13MOV. Some say that's similar to OS8. It's a Chinese steel. Drop point, uh, handle length is 5.95. Uh, Went over that, G10. Uh, it's got a frame lock, which is really strong. I mean, I was impressed with it. It does pretty good. And with this IKBS ball bearings that they have in here, it opens up very cool too. But it's very smooth. Now you can put a little flip to it if you want to get it open quicker. If you didn't want to use that, you can also use the thumb. You know, that works out well too. So, all in all, I mean, it's it's really, you know, it, it feels good. I'm not sure what this is back here. Now this clip, it is a point down or point up, I'm sorry, in the pocket. So, with that, you know, that's not a problem with me. You have a little gimping right here. You get a little grip going on. So, all in all, it's pretty cool. But, a lot of people, they talk about these serrations. And they were, you know, some people were really concerned about, you know, well, do they do this, do they do that? And I'll tell you, <clears throat> I tried to get it with the video outside. But they do cut well. Okay, for serrations, they cut pretty good. That was not going the way I want. There. Now that is just the serration itself. Okay, that's nothing else. Alright, seriously. The blade, blade something different. That one. But anyway, these serrations, <laughs> they don't play. They will cut through anything that you want it to cut through. You go through countless of pieces of paper, or like I do, cut up your wife's catalogs. That's cool too. But anyway, they do have a smaller one of this. They have the 5460 series. Okay. Um, I'm not sure the stats on that. You'd have to look that up. But um, I don't even know if that one comes with serrations. One thing somebody did ask a while back in another forum was uh, if the, about the titanium coating. Is it possible to get the serrations without the titanium coating? And it's my understanding, no, you can't. You can't do that. So. But anyway, I like the titanium coating. I think it really gives, uh, really accents the whole knife, so on and so forth. Then you can't go wrong. So what you need to do is just start stocking up on them. Well, they have a lot of good quality ones. And you can't really go wrong with them. They have something for everybody. I don't know where to put that. There, we'll put that right there. Anyway, hope that video came out better than what I did the other day. We'll see what happens after I get it out of there and see how many times I sighed and sniffled and yawned and everything else. All right.